Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this session, we will learn how to protect and lock cells in Excel. Now, why do we need to lock or protect cells in Excel? Let us imagine that there is an Excel sheet with really confidential data and you need to pass that data to your subordinate or your colleague to make some minor edits. Now, let us imagine that the edits are supposed to be done to only one or two columns and the rest of the columns should be left as they are. Now, there is a huge possibility that sometimes unknowingly or unwillingly, there might be some edits done by your colleague or your subordinate. So, to avoid such kind of unexpected mistakes, you might want to protect and lock your cells that you don't want your subordinate or your colleague to edit. So, before we begin, be kind enough to get subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to stay updated on the latest IT trends and tech content. Now, without further ado, let's get started with our one point agenda that is lock or protect cells in Excel. Now, let's get back into the practical mode and start our Microsoft Excel. Now, we are on the Microsoft Excel and this particular spreadsheet is related to employee details. Yeah, now the screen is visible a bit better. Now, let us imagine that this is our confidential data and you want to edit only two columns that is the designation column and phone number column. Now let us imagine that the company has finished one annual year and now there are some promotions happening in the company and let us also imagine that the phone numbers of the employees provided by the company have undergone some changes. So now the minor edits that you want to make are related to the designation column and phone number column. Now you can see that all the columns that is the blood group, new salary, salary hike, current salary and name of the employee, serial number, employee number, everything is editable. So in such kind of scenarios, when you pass on this data, there might be a possibility where your colleague or subordinate might end up making some mistakes, right? So you want to avoid that. So you can do that by locking the cells. Now let us rename this sheet. Now the sheet has been renamed successfully. So now you can lock the cells by the following process. So in this process, you have two major steps. First one is to lock the cells and the next one is to protect the cells by a password. Now when you select all the cells in this particular sheet, you can just click on this edge here and you have all the cells selected and now right click somewhere on the sheet and you can see an option called format cells. So in this particular option, you have some options provided, which is number, alignment, font, and you want to go into the protection part. So you can see by default, Excel keeps all the cells locked. Now we want the phone number and designation to be unlocked. Okay. So let's cancel it for now and get back to the sheet and select the columns D and I. And now let's right click and go into format cells and in the protection option make sure that you uncheck the locked icon now select ok and now okay so you cannot include the merged cell fine we have a cell here which is merged okay let's remove that okay now again select the entire column right click get into format cells and uncheck the lock option select ok now we have finished the first part that is locking all the cells which you don't want to get edit and unlocking the cells where you want to make some edits now the second stage is protecting the sheet now right click on the sheet name and you can see an option called protect sheet click that and now here you can see select locked cells and also select unlocked cells. So let us provide a password here. So let us use some simple password so that we don't forget that. So I'll be selecting one, two, three and now select OK. Re-enter the password to proceed. Now let us type one, two, three again. Now select OK and now the sheet is protected. Now we have successfully locked and protected all the cells in Excel. Now, let us verify that the cells you wanted to protect are really protected and locked or not. So, we have unlocked phone number and designation and everything else is locked. Now, let me try and edit the blood group. 
So when I double click or try to edit this particular sheet, then I'll be receiving a warning from Excel. It says the cell or chart you're trying to change is on a protected sheet. To make a change, unprotect the sheet. You might be requested to enter a password. So it says that this particular cell is locked and you cannot edit it. Now let us try to edit the phone numbers which we kept as unlocked. So you can see I can really edit the unlocked cell here. Now let me try to change this phone number. Let me enter some random phone number. So you can see the cell is editable. Now let us go through the designation column and try to edit this particular column. Now since I said that there is a promotion happening in the company, so the deputy CEO is now the current CEO of the company and the software developer happens to become the senior software developer and the tester as well. Let us imagine that he will become the senior and so on. Okay, so this proves that this particular sheet is editable. Not the entire sheet, but only the cells that we kept in the unlock mode. Okay. Now, this is how you lock and protect your cells in Excel. With that, we have come to an end of this tutorial on how to lock and protect your cells in Excel. If you have any queries regarding the topics covered in this session, then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be happy to resolve all your queries. Until next time, thank you, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.